Yo, what's good, YouTube? My name is JMO, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make this trippy parallax effect in After Effects. So, basically, what we got here is this little clip of Future right here. So, I went ahead and roto brushed this out. Not, not looking too bad. So, just a little disclaimer this is using a Sapphire plugin. So, if you guys don't have Sapphire, definitely cop that. You're definitely going to want to cop that because there's tons of stuff you can do with Sapphire. But basically, I'm going to just um, add on this parallax strips effect it's called sapphire parallax strips then there's also a transition with it that you can keyframe in and out that's pretty cool and so yep there we go basically as you see here off rip before you even like do anything with this i always recommend you just play with this for real so as you can see as you decrease the size you're, you're gonna get some like interesting looks it's gonna kind of pop up and then kind of go away as it goes through. As you increase that size, it's just going to create a few clones there. And then everything in between that is just going to create some really trippy looks. So I used this here in this music video and I think it looks really trippy. I definitely recommend using this if you guys are going for more of a kind of trippy look. This is an underrated effect most definitely. So I'm going to... So I'm going to be editing in quarter quality as always to just save me some time because I love saving time. If you want to create 3D effects without plugins in any editing program, check out the complete 3D pack on my website. With transparent backgrounds, all you have to do is drag and drop and you can create vortexes, floating objects, transitions, shockwaves, and many more effects in only a few clicks. Use code STINKYCHEESE for 15% off. Then some other things that we can do in here is the high height so if you guys want to keyframe that in that can create some really cool looks and then you can also do that for the very size so basically for a size very y it's just going to kind of randomize the size of each box individually so that can give you some extra looks and then the angle so this is going to change you know if you want this like spinning and that is definitely where the sauce is because it creates a really cool parallax effect and as you can see when you rotate it through here it's putting everything through this really trippy parallax effect and when you keyframe that in and out that's definitely going to create some really cool looks so shift very also that's going to be shifting the actual frame from left to right and it's going to be individually varied again like i said and then if you just want to move everything over and have that kind of keyframe through you can create like a, a cool little transition like that too and then same with y if you want it to go up and down and then it can be rotating while you're doing that as well z distance this is just going to push it further back and further in so that's definitely one of my favorites as well and then seed you don't really have to mess with this is just determining kind of this cycle not the duration of the cycle but where in the cycle it's located and then slow fade this one's interesting this doesn't really do anything this one's cool too if you guys keyframe in n strips you're going to get some kind of popping up and you guys can just get tons and tons and tons of stuff in here so definitely i recommend using that one so as you guys can see there's 20 plus different effects that you guys can create with this parallax effect i don't even think i've ever seen a tutorial on this i was literally just messing around with sapphire uh, seeing what kind of sauce was in here and this is something that's in here as you guys know like liquid explosion effects are a thing of the past but i really like rotoing out my subject and you know creating some trippy stuff here um you, and you guys can create some cool stuff so off rip i didn't even keyframe any of this in i just played with a bunch of different values and it gave me something like this so there's one example right here and then i'll just show some other examples up on the screen just messing with everything that i just showed you you know strips size relative height size vary angle angle is definitely my favorite so i'm just gonna add on this effect again kind of reset my values and then off rip right here what i can do is set the size to its default and then kind of later in the clip maybe increase or decrease those sizes and then also what we can do is set a keyframe for angle and then over here again you know we can have this go through and shift around like that you know what i mean and you know that can create some cool looks you know just like that off rip um and definitely that creates a little too much motion in my opinion but again, you know, you don't even have to keyframe some of these in. You can mess with the strip speed. Also can create some like weird kind of stuff going on here. So, you know, I'll keyframe that in as well. Strip speed right there. And then later, you know, maybe have this go through something like that. 
and yeah you get what i'm saying i mean this this is really cool man but anyways if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff make sure to check me out on instagram i'm posting short form tutorials again and i'm posting lots of them so if you guys want the sauce not only on youtube but on instagram tiktok youtube shorts you know i'm gonna be posting on all of those as well and of course man i really just gotta take a moment to thank you guys for the support on the channel you guys have been absolutely going crazy not just on videos but on my website buying packs and supporting the channel in that way you know and I, I genuinely appreciate you guys i'm trying to provide as much value as i possibly can helping you guys save as much time as you possibly can creating the craziest sauce so you know once again thank you guys for all the support i, I cannot tell you how much i appreciate it enough um but yeah man make sure to check out my website god bless and peace out